Hey guys, what's up? Today I'll be showing you Google's first ever operating system called Google Chrome OS. And in this video I'll be going over the pros and the cons of this operating system and additionally what makes it different from any other operating system that's come out yet. And lastly what Google's goal is for the product, so please stay tuned and enjoy. Now I'm just going to tell you guys beforehand that the software is still in its pre-alpha stage so it's not even in a technical preview yet. So it will probably run a little bit slow, but I will do my best to show you the interface and some of the important features of it. So to start off, I'll tell you guys some of the pros of this operating system. Now Google's main goal or focus of Google Chrome was its speed and how fast it could boot up, connect to the internet, and all that good stuff. So Google has its web browser, the Google Chrome. Um, if you didn't see my video on it, you can watch it now. Um, so it has its own search, or it has its own web browser, search engine, and email, which is the Gmail. And so they know all the inside scoop of the internet and what goes on and so forth. So Google knows as soon as a user presses the power button to their device or computer, they instantly want to be connected to the web. So to go with their customers and satisfy their customers, Google went into long hours of hard work and research to um, cut down the boot time and all that stuff. So currently they're at seven seconds in the pre-alpha stage, but they're trying to cut it down to about three to four seconds um, by the release candidate. The next pro of um, Google Chrome OS that I'm gonna talk about is its support for Microsoft Office. So you're probably thinking if this is a cloud-based operating system, which means it's a operating system that just uses the internet, how do you have application support for anything or how do you download applications? Or is that even possible? Well, if you're thinking it's not possible, you're incorrect. Because what Google Chrome has now is it has like, it's basically a web based version of Microsoft Office. So if you receive a Microsoft Office file, whether it being a PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, or Excel, whatever it may be, you can open it up on Google Chrome's browser and it has a special little um, website. I don't know it offhand here. But, um,. So you can open files on the go. So if somebody sends you a PowerPoint for your business um, that you're going to do a presentation on, you can view it on the go. So that's a really nice feature that um, Chrome has added into its interface. Now I'm going to go in and talk about the cons of Chrome OS. So first off, there's really a lack of things that you can do offline for offline work. If you just want to type a simple document, you can't, you can't really just do that or something simple or watch TV or really anything like that because the basically the whole operating system is centered around the Chrome browser so that's kind of a con of it some may think it's not if you really like online but I sometimes need to type documents edit videos all that stuff you can't really edit videos or type documents or anything really like that so basically if you want to do something private I guess that's where you that's where the incognito window comes in for I don't know but um, so that's one of the cons that I think is kind of a big con of Chrome OS. Now to my next con, um, if any of you guys just picked up the new Motorola Droid from Verizon, the new hot smartphone on the market, um, if so, you're out of luck. Chrome OS doesn't support it whatsoever. It has no support um, for Android 2.0 or any, any type of Android device. So maybe it's something they'll fix in a future version of Chrome OS, but currently you're going to need a different operating system because it doesn't support it, so kind of out of luck on that one, but, you know, give and take. So I just showed you guys some of the basic pros and cons of Google Chrome OS. I really do think it's a good operating system, but, you know, some of those cons are kind of big. But that's just a short overview of Chrome OS. I do have much, much more to say, but it would be well over 10 minutes, and since I'm not a YouTube partner, I can't go over 10 minutes yet. But thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.